Hmm. The answer is no and yes, depending on what punishment means. So assuming the questioner is a genuine Christian, then no, you won't get eternally punished for your sin because according to John 1 29, Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin produced by your worldliness. Which means, as famously expressed in John 3 16, that he perishes in your place so you won't have to eternally perish again. But the answer is also yes, in a temporary sense. But here, punishment must be subsumed under the larger category of discipline. You see, when my kids, who I love and will never disown, do what's wrong, I would be a terrible dad if I didn't let them, one, perceive my disappointment, two, communicate to them the actual gravity of their actions, and three, prevent them from forming a habit of repeating the same actions over and over again. You see, I can initially achieve these uh, by punishing them. However, punishment here is for correction, not retribution, which is why it must be controlled. In that vein, punishment here serves as the first step in discipline or discipleship. The second step is restoration, which serves to repair our relationship as a result of their acknowledgement of wrong and their ongoing character development. This discipline in reaction to wrongdoing is right and loving because it is purposeful. You see, in Hebrews 12, 4 to 11, we are told that one way our legitimacy as God's children can be proven is that he disciplines us with regards to sin. The context is clear that this wasn't a painless discipline, but, quote, he disciplines the one he loves and he chastens the ones he accepts as his children, unquote. Yes, God does punish us for our sin to communicate his displeasure and the gravity of what we've done but also to set us in the right direction. But he does this because we are his children and we are his children because he will not let us perish eternally for our sin after he has done that with Jesus on our behalf.